Good afternoon, Sylvan. Today we are going to practice uh, bash programming, mono monolithic programming, which means we put everything in a single uh, script. First, as a preparation, we will practice uh, these commands to manage users and groups on Linux system. Here, for example, this uh, user add, user dir, user mod, you know this uh, Calibrac process brackets expansion, right? So when you open a terminal window, you can find these uh, commands validates. For example, this is user add. Or a nice way, you just type user, press your type key, you will see those commands started with uh, user. User add, user dir, user mod, users, and so on. And you can find uh, where all these commands they are under user as been user add. So if you want to find all those uh, commands contains the uh, user, you can use uh, grab right? dash i. For example, uh, user we want to find all those commands contains the uh, user. And we can uh, output those commands from that folder, spin folder, pipeline to this uh, grab command. And you will find that all those commands contains a uh, user. Add a user, dear user, new users, user, add a user, dear, and uh, user mod. Similarly, we can find all those commands uh, contains group then you will find uh, add group, dear group, group add, group dear and so on these commands and in this program we are going to uh, use these commands to manage the users and the groups here is a start tasks, task 1 Manage Linux users and groups with these commands as we just uh, get them out. Create three groups. Create three new, uh, three uh, normal users in each group. Here we have three groups. These are the group name. Here are the chair of that group. Here are the members of that group. We have three uh, parties, just as an example. And uh, add the chairs to the sudo group and create three folders and the opt directory for each group make sure each folder is exclusively accessible by all the corresponding group members not others and the three folders are named after the group names respectively which means we just use this uh, group name as the folder name and each folder is owned by the chair from the respective group. So with the commands you practiced, we can uh, complete this uh, task one first. After that, we use the command line from task one to complete this script, user manager.sh. There are seven tools. Complete and demonstrate these things your implementation code, check the prerequisites, satisfy running the code, and run the code, check the expected result is gotten. Then we have uh, a real question. This real question just uh, practice uh, commands you learned on this uh, text file. So we can create a folder to hold all the contents we are going to create today. Lab 07. And I want to download these files first. 
here this uh, script show the rows contra a comma c come here we create a empty file its name user manager dot sh and open it with any text editor control v paste here control s save it the next one is a vulnerability scanning result report Ctrl A, Ctrl C GBM report .txt Certainly you can use a git pull to pull everything down to your folder you pulled before you cloned before, right? There are many ways you can use to download these things. Okay, now let's uh, complete task one first. Now create group. Which one we want to use? Add group, group add, group D, D. We use this one or this one. Add group or group add. Let's use the uh, add group. If you want to find the difference, just uh, go through this menu. Here we use uh, help. And you see uh, this add group. You can add a user to a group. Here add a user, add a user, add a group. Add a system group. Add a user to an existing group. You can specify uh, here the add user. Let's just add, add group. It show lots of things about uh, add user. You can also specify a group uh, ID, but uh, you are suggested to just let the system allocate a group ID for you. Add a system group. So, do we have uh, any other groups in besides this uh, system? How could we find more information about that add a group? We use this manual command. Again, you see the uh, add a group, add a user, add a group, add a user or group to the system. Here are the options for that uh, add group. So what's the options for that add group? When you scroll down, you can try to find uh, the options. Add a system user, add a user group. With this option, without the system, the add group is called respectively a user group will be added instead of system group we want to create a user group right? so we, we need this option dash dash group or you can use add a system group the system group uh, GID the group ID will be chosen from the range specified for the system GIDS in the configuration file so you can find them here for this one is the uh, first GID, last GID for the user group. It will be uh, allocated in this range. Okay, type Q quit it. Now we are uh, use uh, sudo add group dash dash group right? or dash dash user. Now the first we create these uh, groups. Type your login password. Present the username matching the regular expression configured. For the bad name. So now for the name.
here's the username name regex system configuration variable okay well, we can use those uh, Call name use to the or use a lower case. Now you see a group is added and G GID a user group GID is uh, allocated 1001. When you uh, install your your Ubuntu, your G your UID user ID is uh, 1000 and you see it will keep uh, adding or in increment incrementing the uh, number there's a group ID use group ID how do I know my my group you type groups my group name I and as you see I'm inside these groups right now if I want to uh, find the ID of this uh, of the group I, how can I find it? Okay, I, I don't remember that command, so let's uh, show ask Google, but there is a command called get and get entries from group. And you will see uh, the Republican X is a machine, and 101. Now you see the group ID for Republicans 1001. So for that group I, you see it's here. Uh, it's a uh, 1000. Okay, for for those uh, you don't remember the commands, you can always ask Google. Now we create the the next group. Democratic. Did you see that G GID? Libertarian Okay, now I have three user groups Then I want to create users To create users, we use sudo add user The first user We create the follow this stuff Right. Uh, we are just demonstrate the first group. For other two groups, you can complete by yourself. Set up a password. Uh, you can also see a group with the username is created, and is a one zero zero four. Here one zero zero one. For this uh, Nixon. Now you type up, you can see a home directory is also created uh, for him. Okay, now uh, you set up a password, it's better just use the same password for all these users to simplify. Or you use the username. The full name you can go online to find uh, the phone name, room number, work phone, home phone, other information. Yes, it's correct. So I added the chair, I created the chair. Now I create the other two users, Bush and Trump.
then the last user Okay, it's done. Now you can see under the home folder we have three uh, users, extra users created. Right? Now their home folder. If you want to see the home folder, currently nothing in, in, inside. By default, you will not be able to see other users contents. We can share it with LD to see the access rights. That's LD. Now you see it's owned by Nixon. Okay, the other two groups you create by yourself. Now you may uh, want, don't want to create a group named Nixon. How could you do that? Please check the user manual or that uh, as a add user. Then you can see some options you can use to to disable create a group and the same users username. You can disable that. Now we want to add. Add the chairs to the sudo group. How do we add a user to the sudo group? So the sudo group, the name of the sudo group is sudo, right? If you are unsure, we use that uh, get end group, then grab i sudo. And you see there is a sudo group. And you see I'm inside that group currently. Now to add a user to a group, as we uh, just went through the, through the helps, you can, we can type the add user. That does help to see it again. Here, add a user to a a existing user to an existing group use this syntax add user user group sudo add user nixon to sudo group right? sudo if you verify the groups the sudo group you see now um, I and Nixon are inside the sudo group, sudo group. For other two groups and uh, add other two chairs to the sudo groups, please do it by yourself. I will just continue these uh, tasks because they are just uh, symmetric to each group. Create three folders under this opt directory for each group. Make sure uh, each folder is uh, exclusively accessible by all the corresponding group members. How could we do that? Actually, we still didn't add all these uh, users to the group we just created. Right? For example, this, uh, these three users they are in this uh, group Republican, so we can uh, use the command to add all these uh, members to the Republican group, and also add Bush and Trump to this uh, Republican group. You can use get hint to verify your result. Group grab dash i 
repop, just repop. You don't need to uh, type everything out. Now you see it contains three users. Okay, now we can uh, create the folder. I just create the folder for this Republican group. You sudo make dr opt Republican create a folder. Then we check its uh, access right. You can use uh, this shortcut means the private of the previous command. Right? You see uh, this one list out, and you see I cannot access. Oops, make the R. It said make the R is also all these part are considered as the parameter of this sudo command. So we need to remove this uh, MacDRR. Now you see it's owned by root. And we want to change it. It all need to be owned by the chair and the respective group, which means we want to change this uh, owner and the group. How do we change that? First, let's change the owner. Actually, it can all be done use the change, change owner. And the group, you can use the uh, change, chg, change. You press tab key, you see there is a change group command. CHGRP, right? This change group, the change password. So I will change, use change owner to change, change the owner and the group at the same time with this uh, change owner command. Uh, so do change owner and dash r, and we will change everything. Inside that folder to the, the owner, we, we type the chair, Nixon, with a column by the group, the group, Republican. So this is the syntax, followed by the folder, Republican. Then we can uh, show its access right again. Now it's owned by Nixon and uh, by the group, the group is Republican. So which means any user belongs to this group, they can do what things. Can, uh, you see this access right here? For the owner, can do it, do it, execute. For the group, can do it and execute. For others, can do it and uh, execute, as we said, exclusively. So we need to remove all other uh, access rights and add a uh, uh, right to the group. Right. So how do we change that? We use... Uh, now if I want to switch to another user, how do I do that? Switch user as your Nixon, how about like this? Ask me type a password or oh, Nixon. Okay, now you see a uh, Nixon is here, right? And the Nixon is uh, inside the sudo group. You type CD, you go to Nixon's home folder. You can see the working directory, Nixon's home folder. Now, Nixon want to change the access rights of their shared folder. So, since he is the owner, he can uh, he has all the access rights RWX. So he want to uh, search mode. He want to add the right mode to the group. So we need a group plus right followed by that folder. Is it done? Now you can also use that LS LD to verify it, but uh, we will uh, do more. First, for others, just uh, get rid of this read and uh, execute. 
then you verify the access rights ld dash opt oops what you see now the access rights read write execute by the owner and the group and uh, not accessible by anyone else so this is how to uh, create a folder owned by the share and the share are exclusive by the this group members and for other two groups you can do that now how do I verify I cannot access the folder when um, I is not inside that group right? yeah, exit uh, Nixon's uh, session come back to I now if I want to access that folder we can CD to that folder to have a look. Republican. You see permission denied. And if you want to share, the Republican group members can access it. You switch to a user, for example, uh, Bush. Right? Switch to Bush, type uh, his command uh, password. CD, come to Bush's home folder, you use LIS, OPG Republican, you see it works, and you CD to that uh, folder, you also worked. Now you are you're inside that shared folder. You can uh, create folders, for example, a subfolder and that shared folder. You can uh, create files. You can use any editor to open it. Let me do txt. For example, uh, this is uh, Bush's folder under the shared folder. Oh, the Republican Party. You can use any editor if you're not familiar with the VI. You just use a promo or code. Now, you can switch to other users to see whether you can open this readme.txt. For example, you just switch to other users. For example, switch to Trump. He's in the same group. Huh? Top areas because the, you you know for the group members they can uh, they have the full access rights. You can you see you see the contents. There's a shared folder. And if uh, Trump want to access Bush's home folder, it is home Bush. Currently, uh, let's try CD. Uh, it can go to uh, Bush's home folder, which means the home folder is not uh, protected. So this is not a good idea. So usually, after you create a home folder, you'd better protect it only be accessed by the owner. So let's uh, exit, then exit Bush. We can see the access right for the home folder because this can be read and executed by others so to secure your home folder just get rid of this R and X from anyone else then only you and your group members can access your home folder. Okay, for other two groups, you need to complete these uh, similar tasks.
now we know how to do these uh, tasks we can use this command line to complete to use to complete this uh, shell script so let's open this shell script there are seven tools uh, with the visual studio code Here you can see a list of these uh, usages. Actually, here there is an explanation about the functionality of this uh, script. The usage. And that is uh, the program main logic is a while loop. So we can run it to have a look. So you need to go to the folder you, you saved that script. You can always use ls to see you, you are in the right place. We need to uh, make it executable then we can run it to have a look when I run it you see this the uh, user manager explanation about the program then the usage show up but unluckily I have a syntax error at this line 183 so we can go through this uh, program as you say in this uh, while loop, we are to do first we will ask you to type something, right? Enter your command, but uh, we didn't see it as says enter command. Here, I run it. We didn't see the enter command. It come to 183, line 183. So we scroll down to 183. One eighty two, one eighty three. This uh, if then else if I so what's the error I have here? Because I have nothing inside this else command. If we want to remove the syntax error, we can just type uh, an echo or. Or semicolon to remove the syntax error. Here we run it again. This semicolon is unexpected, so it does not like this semicolon. We use the echo. But now. Uh, that syntax error is removed and I ask you to enter a command. Here are a list a list of these commands. You can type an H for the help. Right? The help it will show the explanation of each command letter again. Now for example list all groups and a list uh, all users. I type an error to list all users. Here you see our users show up here. All users on the computer. If I want to find uh, all groups, here are all the groups on this uh, computer. And you see the Republican is there. Okay, for the, those commands, type H again to see uh, those commands. You need to uh, go through and demonstrate all the commands that worked. Now I want to just uh, go directly to those uh, seven tools. Ctrl F, tool, you see a uh, 107, right? The first tool, delete the desired group. 
with a single line of command. There's a command called deal group, right? When we go through those uh, command contains group. So there is a deal group. We can use deal group to see how to use it. The deal group. Deal user. Deal group followed by the group name. So we just type uh, deal group. Now, if you run this one to run to modify to remove a group, we must supply sudo, right? So, which means only the sudo users or root users can run this program successfully. So, we can use a sudo dear group and followed by the group name. This group name is supplied by a variable called gname. This is the first one, dear group. Now if you want to check it, we type uh, d digital group. D. Now you enter group name. For example, uh, we have three, say, say, uh, libertarian. I didn't create libertarian, right? And you will see the says, uh, failed to delete this group of libertarian. So why uh, didn't uh, say group not exist? Instead of just show me a uh, failed to delete this one. Here, when you check this part, it just check the exit status of this uh, command, right? Check the exit status, and it's, if it's zero, it succeeded to delete, it was failed to delete. So which means it uh, run this command and failed. And this part not exists. This part didn't uh, work. So we need to find why this part didn't work. Right here, you can see it try to find a group name. Use this grab command. If uh, not found, then it will show this group not exist. You can always uh, verify in another terminal window. You can use grab dash q, then followed by the group name. Now we, we already know that group name equals this one. Right? Here this uh, libertarian. Here it uh, use uh, regular expression means the line started with this uh, libertarian etc group and what do we get here you see uh, we get a zero zero means this uh, command actually killed successfully even though it uh, didn't find that uh, libertarian Right, if we use this uh, dash q, just trying to find libertarian, we can use several letters, for example, lib. Right? We didn't get anything, but this command did uh, uh, succeed. So, which means this uh, way to check, to check whether a group exists or not, is not the right way. This is not the right way you use to uh, check a group. Otherwise, it uh, doesn't work. You can consider to fix this uh, problem. It's not required. Okay.
Okay, as a demonstration, you can create a group and uh, use this command to get rid of it. So you need to uh, test by yourself. This is a to do one. To do two, join the user to the target group with a single line command. We already did this with that uh, add user, right? That add user. We can use this one to add an existing user to an existing uh, group. So to add user, now please pay attention to this username, group name, they are supplied to you with this uh, variable name. Delete the target user with a single line or command. That command called dear user. This dear user, you can remove user from a group. To get rid of user, remove a normal user from the system, just dear user followed by the username. So do dear user followed by the username. The username is uh, given to you with this available name. Line four, find all groups the user is in with a single line or command. Okay, we want to see uh, with uh, that a uh, group command, right? Here I type this group command. It will show oh, groups. The groups command. It will show the groups I am inside. How about uh, we want to find the groups for another user? I type groups. See whether we can uh, use it for another user. Group option option username. So which means it can be used to find for for other users. For example, uh, Nixon. Now you will see a uh, Nixon uh, inside these three groups, and this is the username Nixon. If I want want to only show the groups, so how could I just get this, this part? Because I don't want this part. Right? This part is the user username, not the group name. So we only want this part. How could we get that? I think there is another command called id to find the groups here dash g group print only the effect group id can print all group ids you use id option followed by that user name so we can use id dash g all groups id of that user now it shows the group ID, we want to see the name instead of number, so use this one, Yojiji. Only for more than one choice, so this uh, Yojiji, not work like this. So what's the problem I have here? Dash R. So we just supply dash R. Cannot print only names or real IDs in default format. So what's a mistake I made? Print all group ID, that's fine. Here, I just follow this one. 
I just fold the rubber and uh, the says I cannot do that. Touch NG. Okay, we use dash ng, then it only show the groups, the name of the groups. So we use this uh, command. And this command, uh, we don't need to do, right? And copy and uh, paste here. This only shows the group name. File change user's password with a single line command and uh, the username is supplied so how do we change the password at the beginning we we saw a command called change password right Actually, we can use this uh, use password to change the password of user. Here you can see a uh, password option, the login username. Then you you can change the password for that user. You can also set some properties of those user uh, of those uh, password. Here, let's use a password. For example, I want to change uh, Nixon's password. You may not will or modify password you made for Nixon, so you need a sudo. So here we need a sudo password followed by the username. Six makes a group on its shared folder. Here, we know the sh shared folder name is like this, right? The group on its uh, shared folder is a group name. So, we only want to change the group instead of the the owner. How could we just do that? We have a change group, this command. Here this change group, change group, option, group, and a file. Change the group of each file to group. And we can do it recursively, dash r. So we use that command. CHDRP. So do CHDRP dash R recursively. And the group name is G name. Then the shared folder is this one. This is the shared folder, right? This is uh, make the group owns its uh, shared folder. As here says, change the group of each file to group. If we want to use a uh, change group, uh, that change owner, how could we do that? We only change the the group instead of the owner. Ch own. How do we specify that? Here, if we just specify the username to change the owner, the group. Here, this is the owner. This one is the group. But I don't want to uh, change the owner. Only is unchanged if missing. So that's nice, right? So the second way. We can just change the group. Group is uh, unchanged if missing. 
but change the login group if implied by a, here this one followed by a symbolic owner so the semicolon we use so which means the second way we can do it like this here the second way I just uh, comment and put uh, here change owner then followed by the group name please pay attention that uh, to that column so you need to uh, modify where this uh, work as I expected paste here so this is the second way this is the first way so we have two ways to change the group or folder. Now the last to do, make the group able to read write the shared folder with a single line or command. We know how to do that, right? Because we just uh, demonstrated in task one. sudo ch uh, mode the group read and write the shared folder again we can supply a dash r so it's better supply a uh, dash r is a lowercase r or uppercase r ch mod this is uppercase r recursive Okay, we complete all these uh, tools. You need to. Uh, so I only demonstrate this one, right? One implementation code for the other three. You need to. You need to verify and demonstrate by yourself. Run the code. Check the expected result is gotten. So you need to compare this three by yourself. For example, this prerequisite, as I just uh, demonstrated, one requisite does not work as expected. This part, it does not work as expected. How could we uh, solve that problem? Because that grab. It will not uh, show. It will not uh, exit a non-zero when it cannot find the group name. Right? It just return nothing. So maybe we can use a string to hold the result. If the string is empty, then we we say it cannot find that group. If it's not empty, it means we find that group. So we can use uh, something like this. How do we hold the result? You can just create any, any uh, verb name, for example, result. Maybe make it more readable, search result, as result, equals now to get the result or command, we, we need this uh, syntax. Grab dash q quietly to find the g name. Start with a group name. So I would like to uh, write uh, completely. G name, for example, e equals Nixon. Then we create a search result available to hold the result of the grab dash q gname etc group Now you can echo the result of this uh, 
as a result. I think I have a group name called Nixon. Right? Here we can use a get end etc group grab. Oops, uh, not like this, but this is uh, the not syntax, the not right syntax. This get end, get end is just uh, get end group. Now you see this Nixon here. This line start with Nixon column, but when I do it like this, I didn't get the result. So, what's the problem? Let's grab if we supply. Like expression, we still need to supply an option, which means we want to supply a directly expression here. Dash E, directly expression. Upcase P is pure directly expression. So the directly expression I just typed is a pure style or this, uh, this one. So you can verify these two results. That QE like this, then you echo this S result. We still get a uh, empty. How about a dash uh, QP pro style? As result, oops, I still get a uh, empty result. Let's uh, type this one. Grab. So that what does this does kill me? Quiet. Suppress normal output. The output is suppressed. This spreads. How could we get a get the output? So the problem is from this uh, uh, queue. Now we can get rid of that queue to have a look. Echo as result. Oops. Maybe we we need to specify. What for the G name first? The problem is here, I didn't use a dollar sign, so it's quite easy to make a mistake. Oops, I have a typo here. G name, Nixon, none. This grab, G name, I miss this dollar sign. Here you see the dollar signs over there. It's good. I call this S result. You see, it's not empty now, right? So you can use this way. Now, how do we uh, how do we test a string is empty or not empty? So you can check our online book to check a string whether it's empty or not empty. You just use uh, the equal equal, right? For example, equal uh, if this one as result equal equal empty, this is empty. Then you echo empty. Else, could I type like this? Echo not empty. Right, the syntax does, does not work. We need uh, the syn syntax like this. Echo empty. 
else. Oh, because I didn't supply a, a FI to end this uh, if then else. Sorry about that. Echo not empty. Then I need to supply a FI to complete this structure. And you see the result show non empty. And you also get a problem. Command non found. Because when I try to echo uh, in this uh, if statements, this one is uh, outputted and show command not found. So please uh, search how to uh, check a string is not empty or is empty instead of uh, write it intuitively like me. So you can uh, find uh, bash test string length. We like to test string length. Then you will see lots of uh, resource. You can use something like this to get its length. Or you test it with uh, test string empty. Here you can use this syntax. This syntax is quite short. Z, use this one. Is empty, is not empty. So you can use this uh, test to test whether the strings are empty or not to replace this part. Okay, you need to complete this two, three, four by yourself. Now the real questions. Practice text processing with suitable commands. On this uh, GBM report, we have several stuff. Actually, you, you can ask Google for this question. For example, find the number of lines, words, chores, bytes, all this uh, file. You just, how do you search it? You just use a bash. Find the number of lines or text file. Then you will get the solution. And uh, show the following contents of this uh, GVM report. The first three lines, the last three lines, or but the last 100 lines. You use uh, the head command and the tail command. You need to check that that help how to use it, or you just uh, Google it, uh, head command example. Here, this one, you use uh, a command name called wc what count. You just Google you, you may find uh, lots of resource to use. Find all different IP addresses and print them out from this uh, text file. Again, you can ask Google to find the solution. Actually, I add a, a link for you, so you can use this link. Make sure all IP addresses with a SED and a org from a stream. But here is from the text file, so you may go get it to find. Find the total number of the total number of issues inside this CVM report. So you need to see the format of the the issues. You scroll down, see the summary. So the total number of issue. The report contains city file results. Now the issue ask uh, what does it ask for? When you scroll down, you want to see uh, issues. Here's the issue. 
Now it says number of issues. How could we count the number of issues? Here, another issue. So it may it ask you just count any lines, the number of lines just contains this word issue. So you need to count all those lines contains this single word issue. Then you find the number of, of issues in this report. Right? Each issue it has a summary and an explanation. Another issue, impact solution, vulnerability detection method, and so on. So this finds the total number of issues. Now it asks you to extract specified lines and save them as a port summary.txt. Again, you can ask Google to find uh, how to extract lines. Actually, you can combine the head command and the tail command to get the result. Or you can use that uh, advanced command, this uh, set and walk. And we will practice a little more about these two commands next week. Currently, you can just uh, use head and tail. It's okay you use uh, any commands you, f you found. Replace all session title issue with problem and leave other issue occurrences intact. Here, the section title issue, which means those issues in a single line and it contains only this issue stored by this issue, its first I is upcase. So you need to replace them by this uh, another word, problem. So you can, how do you solve this problem? You can ask uh, Google, you say, uh, replace a uh, single word in a text file. Then you will see lots of solutions. Most of them are using this set and work to complete this task.